a candidate answered 60 percentage of questions of which 24 percentage are right how much percentage he should answer the rest of questions right so that he may pass the examination when the minimum passing percentage of this examination is 30 percentage let us consider 100 as the total number of questions in this examination and minimum passing percentage is 30 percentage means he should correct 30 out of this 100 questions. Here, he already answered 60 percentage of the questions. So, 60 percentage of 100 is 60. Now, remaining unanswered question is 40 percentage. 40 percentage is equal to 40 because we consider 100 as the total number of questions. Now, he corrected 24 percentage of the 60 percentage of questions. That means, he corrected 24 percentage of the 60 questions. 100 percentage of 60 is 60, 10 percentage is 6 and 1 percentage is 0.6. So, 24 percentage is 0 0.6 into 24 which is equal to 14.4 questions. So, he already corrected 14.4 questions out of the 60 questions. But he need to correct 30 questions because passing percentage is 30 percentage. So, here 30 minus 14.4 which is equal to 15.6. So, he need to correct 15.6 out of this 40 questions. So, x percentage of 40 is equal to 15.6. So, we need to find the x percentage here. x percentage is equal to, he should correct 15.6 questions out of this 40 questions in order to get total 30 percentage mark in this examination. Here, 4 goes 3 times in 15, remaining is 36. 36 6 by 4 is equal to 9. So, 3.9. 3.9 into 10 is equal to 39 percentage. So, option C is your answer. Now, if you have difficulties in calculating this, let us have a different method that is allegation method. You can solve this question in allegation method as well. Let us use allegation method. Here, 60 percentage questions he answered. And remaining unanswered question is 40 percentage. Out of this 60 percentage, he corrected 24 percentage of the question. So, in order to get 30 percentage mark, he should correct x percentage out of this 40 questions. So, passing mark is 30 percentage. That is, this 24 percentage of this 60 and x percentage of this 40 will be equal to 30. That is, this 24 and x together is 30. That is, passing mark is 30. Now, if you take the allegation method, difference between 24 and 30 is 6. Difference between x and 30 is x minus 30. Now, x minus 30 and 6. So, here take the ratio of left hand side and right hand side. Here left hand side is x minus 30 and right hand side is 6. So, x minus 30 by 6 is also equal to 60 by 40 because LHS is 60 and RHS 40. So, ratio of x minus 30 by 6 will be equal to ratio of 60 and 40. Now, 20 goes 3 times in 60, 20 goes 2 times in 40, 2 goes 3 times in 6. Now, x minus 30 is equal to 3 into 3, 9. So, x is equal to 30 plus 9, 39. So, option C, 39 percentage is the answer. So, if you have difficulty in doing the first method to the allegation method, this is more simple.